All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's my cookie, and right there in that first intro clip, got a nice little quad feed with the Man of War assault rifle. In my opinion, best assault rifle in the game. And I know every other video, I'm always picking a favorite. Well, this week, the Man of War feels good. Or it'll feel good next week, I have no idea. But anyway, right there in that first clip, you guys noticed I was in slow motion, and I was kind of testing out the new, um, it's called Time Bender. It's a new feature for the app that I use to upload all my videos, which is Share Factory. Those of you who don't know, it's kind of cool. It's a uh, little video, video editing software that comes with the PS4 for free. And they just got a new update for it, which basically lets you do slow-mo clips or super fast clips. So I figured I'd test it out. And you never know, you guys might see it again in this video for a little montage clip. Um, so if it came out a little choppy or anything, I know it does a little weird thing with the audio when I use the time bender thing, but I figured I'd try it out just to have some fun. In the gameplay that you're watching in the background, I'm rocking the ICR-1 assault rifle, and I just recently realized that when you put rapid fire on this gun, it becomes an absolute monster. I mean, uh, before I would probably say that this might be the weakest assault rifle in the game, or at least the worst performing assault rifle in the game, but if you put on rapid fire, it really steps up the performance of this gun, makes it feel like it shoots a lot faster, even though it's just a 6% increase. It really feels like it shoots a lot faster, and you guys will notice in this gameplay, I'll be getting in a lot of up, up close confrontations with the gun, and I'll actually be able to survive and hold my own, which used to be a problem when I would use the ICR-1 without rapid fire. And another thing I wanted to talk about, guys, right here I'm controlling the Talon, and it's actually really, really good if you control it. I don't know if you guys have actually tried controlling it, but see, look at right here, I'm picking up a lot of kills. If you're on a map like this is Infection, if you're on a map where you can actually, you know, take a second, find a good hiding spot and control it, it's really good because you can use it like I did in this video to get, uh, I used it to get my Wraith and my Hater. That way I didn't actually have to go out there and risk dying one kill away. I was able to just go into the, fly into the spawn and basically shoot them. Now I know they said that the thing does more damage with the recent buff if it's, uh, if you let the computer control it, but I still think that if you control it, it does enough damage to get the job done. It's actually really good. And I'm also using that really sweet jungle party camo that I managed to also pick up on the ICR. I know I uploaded a video um, a couple weeks back. I had it on the CUDA, but I've recently gotten the gem camo for the CUDA. I'll be trying to get a gameplay to show you guys with that. Gem camo, my favorite camo in the game. It's basically the bright blue one that kind of pulsates in the dark. Really cool. And right now, guys, I'm actually, um, at the moment, I just entered 8th Prestige, and I'm actually kind of grinding for dark matter camo. Was kind of talking to my boy Bushmeat today, didn't really know what to do. I mean, I've kind of been going for nuclears, but that hasn't been going very well for me. Because this game does a weird things with the spawns where, I like to call it a spawn split. Where it'll spawn like three guys on the other team on like A flag. And then it'll spawn like the other three guys on C flag when you play Domination. And just that nonsense for me, at least until they do something about the spawns. It makes going for nuclears really rough because you feel like you're going the right direction to get everybody on the other team because you'll see them on the hater. And then by the time you get to where all the arrows were a second ago, the spawns have flipped on the other other and they're on the other side of the map and before you know it you run out of time. And I've noticed I have uh, two games now that I've uploaded where I ran out of time, one off a of nuclear, so I'm not really trying to get it. It's the kind of thing that'll come when it happens. And that's kind of like quad feeds for me in this game. I know I mentioned about a week ago in my last upload that I can't for the life of me get a quad feed. And as soon as I got my first one, I've been getting them a lot easier now. Uh, you guys saw me get a quad feed with the Man of War, and you never know, you might see another quad feed later on in this video. Um, but yeah, I feel like once you get it, something like a nuclear the first time, like the first one's always the hardest to get, and then after that you just kind of keep rolling through them. But anyway, I just wanted to share this ICR class that I'm using with you guys. I'm rocking the uh, quick draw, the extended mag, and the rapid fire, and my perks, as always, flag jacket, scavenger with fast hands, and tactical mask. The perks, they don't really change that often on the gun unless I'm going for gun camos or something like that, which I actually happen to be doing. And real quick, guys, I know this video is ra a rather shorter one, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. I mean, it's, it's really awesome, and you guys you guys just rock. And I just wanted to say thank you for the support on my videos. Those of you have been, who have been watching, all of you uh, who are new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I, I mean, it, it makes me happy to know that, you know, there's other people out there who are watching my videos. And I know 50 subs doesn't sound like a lot when you have other channels that are 
hitting, you know, a benchmark of like a million or 500,000. But you know what? I appreciate every subscriber. So you know what? Just wanted to give you guys a quick shout out. And thank you all for checking out the videos. And if you haven't yet, check out my recent uploads. I put up a Brutal Metal Weevil. I also was talking about my first impressions with the Battle Beaver controller that I recently uh, got around Christmas time and overall I'm liking the controller. I think it's a really good controller But still too soon for me to give my honest review of it But it does make jumping and sliding a lot more fun in this game Although jump shotting a lot of times kind of gets me killed But anyway guys just wanted to say thank you so much for 50 subscribers you guys rock now. That's the video I just wanted to show you guys real quick a nice little ICR 40 kill game on the map infection playing domination with my boys Bushmeat and Furious Kid Shout out to them for always dropping haters and making the game more fun to play Because this game when you play it by yourself, it just is not as fun as playing with the homies It's just hard, you know, you're left with uh, vegetable teammates and it's just not as fun Anyway guys, that's the video If you enjoyed, thumb it up and subscribe for more Thank you so much and I will catch you guys on the next one Ooh, look at that 80s flash body, pretty sweet My cookie out